Okay, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Screw Toy action figure review. And today we'll be looking at several Marvel Legends, all the ones we have here in front of us. I've gathered these slowly throughout the last couple of weeks and I didn't want to do a single review for each one of them. So I decided to do a video for all of them. But starting off with these figures in front of us, we'll start off with Black Panther. Now getting a quick look at the Black Panther. There's so much to this figure. It is a classic rendition of the Black Panther or a classic rendition with a little of a modern take to him. He does look nice, mostly all black. It is the Vulcan body mold. Um, he has the great gloves, the great feet or boots. I wish that they would have gone with the classic Black Panther and done the light blue, light purplish gloves and boots. He does come with this very, very thick and hard cape, uh, which I'm not a big fan of, but Overall, man, it's a pretty straightforward figure. It is the Vulcan body with accessories to make him look like Black Panther and the head sculpt, obviously. And it does look good, man. I mean, getting a close look at him, it is, again, all black with gray. The head sculpt looks really nice. I wish they would have done the eyes white, but they went with a silver paint. You know, it looks pretty pretty cool. Uh, a, a second head sculpt would have been nice. All he does come with is those clawing hands and a set of fists. So that's everything that this Black Panther comes with. A uh, little light on accessories. And uh, this is from the new Black Panther movie, the wave uh, for the new Black Panther movie, the Tuma Build-A-Figure wave. And uh, yeah, he was the only one that I really wanted. But now after watching the movie, I do really want Namor. But overall, solid figure. I did do the modifications on the butterfly shoulder joints. And uh, I can show you a little bit better. Popping the head off and uh, removing the cape. Got to shimmy this all the way down pretty simple and straightforward modification so you can get more uh, range out of those butterfly joints putting the head back on it's very stiff give me one second oh there we go so uh just boil the figure or run hot water on those shoulders and then pop off the shoulders from the butterfly joint and then the peg's going to be very long you cut it to right where the notch is at and it gives you a lot further uh, butterfly joint movement as you can see there i did hear from um who taught me this oh it was sunny that taught me how to do this the sunny channel go check out his channel i'll leave a link to his uh, youtube channel down below and i also saw jay figs do it and i'll link his instagram down below uh unfortunately on mine this arm got really really loose on me so that is a little bit unfortunate but i do get a lot better articulation out of him so overall solid figure man um a nice stand-in for my comic book Black Panther. Uh, yeah, I really wish they would have used the Renew Your Vows body, the Spider-Man Renew Your Vows, or the uh, Amazing Fantasy body on this. This guy would have been really nice to have toe joints on it, but uh, yeah, you know, he's still pretty cool. Next up, we have the boy himself, Hank McCoy, a.k.a. The Beast, and he did come in a retro card, but obviously I opened him up to play with him. Uh, he does come with this very nice soft goods uh, coat that pays tribute to the Toy Biz Beast that came with the coat. Um, but yeah, we've seen this beast before. He came in the Caliban wave. This time around, he does have a lot. Oop, well, popping the head off. Uh, a lot less darker shading throughout the body. Uh, subtle differences. They did paint the toenails and the uh, fingernails, so that does look good. But overall same figure he does come with this new head sculpt that does look very very nice i wish they would have gave us the head sculpt that came with the gray beast and the retro card that would have been a very nice repaint to pack in with this one uh, as it does have a smiling hank and hank usually is smiling unless he's ready to fight and kick your ass he does come with the original caliban head that came in uh with that original beast and he does have a fist for his right hand a slightly open grabbing grasping whatever you want to call it left hand and then he does come with a right gripping hand so that is nice and then he does come with an open palmed hand for his left hand so he can do handstands or whatever beast does he also does come with uh his little glasses that are useless in my opinion they are just a little thin piece of plastic with the uh translucent lenses and the black uh little arms right here but they do not stay on his face whatsoever man they just you could try to rest it but they, they're yeah these these are not meant for this figure i think they came originally with the gray beast so they were meant for him uh so that is a little bit unfortunate that they didn't include that other head for those glasses as again they're useless if i can get him to stand for a second stand man stand there we go uh he does come with this very nice uh chemistry bottle this set has the 
uh, X Gene 6 in there, a little uh, Easter egg from the comics, so I can get that focused. It is just a little container with a uh, purple piece of plastic in there to make it look like it's filled with something. This little smoke effect doesn't come with it, but if you have one, uh, you can plug it in on top. And it fits fairly nicely, and he also does come with a yellow one, which is pretty nice. So, yeah, pretty solid figure overall, man. I do recommend it if you missed that original release. You do get a lot more. You get soft goods with them. You get an extra head, some little extra accessories. So, um, solid figure, yeah. And here we have my favorite figure of the bunch, the lizard. This figure overall is just an amazing figure, man. <laughs> Simple words, he's amazing. He was first revealed by Unparalleled Universe a few months back. I believe back in like May or April around that time. Uh, he was a Walmart exclusive. I went everywhere. I mean, everywhere trying to find this figure to, I mean, like, I'm, I'm going to say about eight Walmarts in one night and I could not find him. Uh, finally, a local collector uh, offered me a trade for some figures that I had and uh, we exchanged some figures and uh, I was able to get my hand on him brand new and packaged. And then funny enough, last night I went to a Walmart to go buy some, um, I can't remember what I went to go buy. It was some random stuff for the house and I found a brand new one in package. So now I have um, one man on card on my wall. So this figure, man, he, he he's he's an overall very, very nice figure. He is kind of pricey. I believe his price point was like 30 bucks after taxes and everything, but it's an all brand new sculpt. Everything with this figure is brand new. Um, and overall, he, he looks really nice. He comes with two different head sculpts, this very reptilian like head sculpt. And then the other one, which is a uh, more of a first appearance looking lizard. So we can get that to focus right there. A little goofy, but that's how he comes. Um, that's how he looked in the first comic. So that's very nice. And then he comes in with an open um, dramatic hand for his right arm and a gripping hand for his left arm. He comes with this very nice beaker right there. He comes with two. He comes with this one and then um, this red one over here that does look nice. Same thing with the beast. You can plug in some uh, smoke effects on top. So that is pretty cool. And then he does come with a, what is this? A left open splayed out hand. Is it left? Yeah. Left hand. And then a right fist so if he wants to punch spider-man in the face he can and uh again overall very nice the paint detail um he does have washing throughout those scales that look very nice the eyes is very nice yellow with the black stripe running down the middle um the jacket is very nice as well you can see that it's ripped pinless as well pinless knees as well yeah man this looks really nice and then his feet look very uh amphibian like he looks like uh well not amphibian reptile like this look pretty cool and then his tail does have a bendy wire which is pretty dope don't understand why they will give uh lizard scorpion bendy wires down their tails but they refuse to give it to doc ox so yeah that that's beyond me but uh yeah man very nice figure and since it is a brand new figure i'll show you some of the articulation his head and neck are two different pieces so the neck plugs into the body so he can move that much down and that much up his uh head is on a ball and hinge so you can look up a fair amount so that does look nice he does have ball joints for the shoulders they are pretty stiff and they do have detents in there so you can hear it clicking he can hit a very nice t-pose no problem at all and then he does have upper bicep swivel double pin his elbows and then he does have a hinge at his hand to hinge up and down and swivel a full 360 he does have a diaphragm cut which again this is my preferred um, setup for um, torso articulation so it can pivot a very nice to the side very nice amount to this side it can crunch forward back and then he has a lower ab crunch with those two together you can crunch a great amount forward great amount back he does have um, I believe he has uh, no, I don't think he has drop down hips, but he does have upper thigh cuts, double pinless knees that bend in a great amount. He can easily kick his own back. And then he does have rotation at the upper calf, right where it plugs into the pants. So that is nice. And then his feet hinge up, down, and have great ankle pivot with pebbles at the bottom. And then again, his tail has a bendy wire, so you can have that pose however you like. So solid figure overall, man. Again, my favorite from the bunch. Um, this is the lizard that I've wanted for a very long time. Uh, more McFarlane styled lizard would have been nice. Um, but this right here pretty much um, satisfies that itch. It's very close to McFarlane style. But um, 
not quite, but still pretty decent. Way better than that Build-A-Figure. Although that Build-A-Figure was very, very nice. I did like that Build-A-Figure quite a bit. But uh, this right here is my preferred version of Lizard. And the last set of figures we'll be looking at is this three-pack that was an Amazon exclusive. And it's the Venom, Riot, and uh, Agony three-pack. Very solid three-pack, man. A um, couple things that I'm not a big fan of. Overall, I did get this three-pack for this Venom because this is my Venom that I've been wanting for a very, very long time. And we finally have him, but we'll look at him last. Uh, first off, let's get a look at Agony because she is the uh, least exciting of the three in my opinion. Um, pretty much, she is on the Trig body. Uh, she does have very nice paint apps. She has the pinkish and purplish color right there. Uh, she has a very nice, big, thick hair. One thing that was a major complaint from everybody is that this head is very very stiff on that ball joint man i mean like it'll look down it'll look up but it's very very stiff on there so i would recommend heating it up and uh, popping it on and just keep heating it up until you get a very nice um movement out of it instead of that very stiff uh movement because yeah i'm scared to break that ball joint that's in there but right now it's doing pretty okay i've heated it up a couple times so it's not too bad um, but overall, man, again, not much to her. Again, she is just the Shriek body mode, uh, painted to look like Agony. Uh, she does come with clawing hands and a set of, if I can get them real quick, fist. So, not much to her. Again, pretty solid figure. Next up, we have uh, Riot, which, um, you know, a lot of people have complaints about him. Uh, he's supposed to be more of a grayish color, but for some reason, they gave us a bluish tint of riot uh, i've seen the cover art that they got the reference from and um it does look accurate to the source material they were going for but uh it is just the venom the monster venom body uh, painted to look like riot the head sculpt man is the biggest complaint from everybody and uh yeah i agree it looks very goofy in my opinion if i get it to focus right there and honestly i know what it is is that overbite that overbite just looks extremely goofy man i mean <laughs> I don't know they could have done that better I think they were I don't know I think they were trying to I don't know it, it just wasn't executed well that doesn't look that doesn't look good man and that overbite just kind of looks goofy it does have a pearlescent shiny um white to the eyes it does look very nice again solid figure we've seen this body mode um none of these bodies are brand new so uh nothing too exciting from this three pack body wise but uh you know, if you get this and you have any of these figures, the Monster Venom, um, or even the Eddie Brock Venom, Toxin, you should be familiar with this, the Shriek body, uh, we've seen it plenty of times now, and then the uh, Omega Red body, so uh, pretty familiar with these bodies. What's it called? Riot doesn't come with too many accessories other than this little side right here that you can stick into his hand, and it is kind of tricky to do. I've had a little bit of trouble doing it. There we go. Nope. Uh, there we go. And uh, it looks okay, man. Not 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 the greatest, but it looks okay. You can see the goop going up right there. Um, yeah, it looks pretty decent, but nothing too crazy. So, solid figure overall. But the main highlight for me is this dude right here. Uh, let me change the color of the lighting so you can kind of see more. And he doesn't blend in with that black background. There you go. We have Venom. And uh yeah man. This right here is the Venom that I've been wanting for a very long long time. Um we've been asking for Venom on the Omega Red Body for a while. And we finally have him. We did get him with the retro carded Venom. There was a Pulse Con exclusive last year, I want to say in 2021. But um now we have a classic looking Venom. Or actually it's more of a modern looking Venom. Uh, I really love that tongue, man. A lot of people don't like it, but I really like it. It, it looks a lot more like the movie Venom, but um, you get those silver eyes right there. They really, really look nice. The teeth look good. He's just big and bulky and menacing. Um, but yeah, pretty straightforward, I believe. The spider is sculpted on there on the chest. Um, this time around, they did plug in those uh, holes that he had on the shoulders. They put some tendrils in there. But yeah, man, solid figure overall. He doesn't come with much other than his uh, gripping hands or, um, you know, grasping hands. And then he does come with a set of fists. 
And then he comes with a very, very nice Eddie Brock head right here, which I think is a major highlight of this three pack. This thing right here, man, is is amazing. And I honestly want another Venom just so I can have this head sculpt uh, displayed as well. But yeah, this looks really nice. And then even on the figure, let me pop it on real quick. It just makes this figure so much better. Just popping that on. Boom. Look at that. That looks pretty dope, man. But again, solid three pack. I believe the price point was like 70 bucks, which is crazy because we get a pretty much a deluxe figure and then we get a huge figure and then a regular size figure. So when I first heard about this three pack, I thought it was going to be like 90 bucks, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, just look at the Spider-Man three pack from um, No Way Home. That's like 90 something bucks plus shipping is 100. This was like 70 ships. So or it was about 80 ship my bad but you get a deluxe figure um yeah the accessories aren't crazy but still um with nowadays prices you know it's pretty pretty good that we get a decent price three pack and uh i think it's worth it man um i think it's worth it you complete your life foundation with uh riot and agony and then you get um, a very nice venom included in that three pack so uh if you're looking for a definitive venom in your collection this is the way to go uh this venom is very nice Again, I don't really have any major complaints. I will say that it does feel just a little bit outdated because of those pins right there on the arms and legs. But uh, overall, still a very solid figure. Um, I've been playing with this for the last couple of days, so it um, just shows how much I really like this three-pack. But uh, overall, man, yeah, solid three-pack. And there you have it. A very nice few offerings by Hasbro right here. I usually don't do any Hasbro or Marvel Legend reviews because, as you've known, I've said it before that I feel like I'm not getting what I paid for. As the prices go up, the quality either stays the same or in some cases gets worse. Uh, so I just haven't been happy with any of the Hasbro releases in the last couple of months. But that's why I don't do reviews on them because there's plenty of people out there already crying about how they don't like Marvel Legends and how it's trash, which I don't completely agree. I, I still think they have shining moments like these right here. This is why I did the review because I wanted to talk about the positive side of what Hasbro is doing man um this is this is where I think Hasbro should or the Marvel Legends team should be going these figures all right here I'm very satisfied with a couple of gripes yes but overall still a very solid offering this figure right here man is one of my favorite figures of the year he's just an excellent figure overall and I'm very very satisfied this one right here as well I'm very very happy with very solid offerings man I mean ranking these figures was pretty hard from favorite to least favorite, I would say that Lizard by far is my favorite out of any of these figures here. And then it would go to Beast, and then Venom, then Black Panther, then Ride, and then Agony. Um, it's just, this is what they should be doing, man. I mean, oop, there goes Beast. Uh, honestly, I, I have very minor complaints about all these figures. Um, I know they're getting rid of the retro cards, so that sucks that we won't be getting any more retro cards next year. But I mean, for this figure, he was an all brand new scoped, a brand new body, brand new accessories. Everything about this figure was brand new. And for 30 bucks, man, that's not bad. Yes, it's a little high compared to what we used to pay 20 bucks, but you're getting a brand new figure, man. And um, yeah, very happy with this. And then Beast, I know we've had him before, but he comes with a brand new head sculpt, a brand new paint job. A brand new soft good coat and brand new accessories. I mean, that's that's very solid. And I think he was only like 25, 26 bucks. Black Panther could have been better. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of the Vulcan body. But um, when they announced this Black Panther on this body, I was fairly upset. Because I'm not a fan of the Vulcan body. I think it's outdated already. White swivel and app crunch, not a big fan of. Um, so wasn't too happy when I got him in hand. He's actually was very fun to play with. That Venom, man, we've been asking for that Venom on that body for a while. So, happy to have him. I know, again, that people complain about how Hasbro this, Hasbro that. But we've been asking for a classic rendition of the Lizard. Here we have him. We've been asking for a Beast with a soft goods coat. Here we have him. We've been asking for a classic Black Panther that's updated. There we have him. We've been asking for a Venom on the Omega body mode. There it is. So, the Hasbro team, the Marvel Legends Hasbro team is listening to us. And again, this is what we should be focusing on. Them listening to us so um, and them trying to satisfy us. But obviously people like to complain about the negativity. But I don't know. I just wanted to do a positive video on the 
good releases they've done this year and these are some of them so very happy with these man but uh enough of me rambling on make sure you guys like comment subscribe follow me on my instagram twitter and tiktok links to all those are in the description down below and i'll catch you guys next time peace